Barra, my old nemesis. Anyway, thank you very much, Chad, for sending us this material from a few days ago. Barra waking itself up again. It takes a cyclone or two. But okay, cool. There's no uh, mission here to avoid controversy because, honestly, there's no one here at this place. Even on days like this, you won't even see your friends. You can go in the water at the top there, and that's it. It's long. It's These photographs in this video are from little tiny pieces of this long point. It's so, so long. You only need to catch two or three waves. And days like this is quite playful, eh? This is cool. You can... Uh, you can get away with this, but when it gets a bit bigger, um, this day two wasn't even that big, and that's an ideal size for people like me. Yeah, that's great. But when it gets big, that is the hardest takeoff you've ever imagined. That, once again, is just a small piece of this whole clip. There goes Branco. <laughs> but basically, um, yeah, it just takes a cyclone, and there's no one here. Let me tell you something. And if there's just no crowds to worry about, because, like I said, you go in the water at the top, and you don't see your mates again. That wave keeps on going. It keeps going on round the corner. It's just a very hard place to film. But thank you, Chad, from La La Land, a place to stay when you're in Barra, for taking the effort to get a few clips like this. It is one of the hardest places ever to film, too, because where do you stand? <laughs> but thank you, Chad. Awesome stuff. Alright, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully, we'll get some more footage of Barra doing this little thing. Maybe the next cyclone will get a bigger spot to come into this bay. But in the meantime, that's Barra, and ciao.